Hi kids, it's Mr. Edgerich. We're here with U-turn uppercase letters review. Um, U-turns are not incredibly difficult, but I will go through the process of connecting a couple of these so you can see it. And then um, we'll just kind of move on. So I'll connect UA, I'll connect YA, and I'll connect WA, which is actually disconnected. And if you look closely, W is not connected to any of its uh, letters. So there's no connection piece with that W. So anyway, I'll get to zoom in. I'll do the first one for each, and then I'll tell you what to do with this bottom line here. I hope you're having great days. And yes, hang on one second. So by now you should be getting pretty good at U-turns, you should be getting pretty good at cursive in general. Um, it's gonna take some practice, so don't worry too much if it's a little bit off, but you should be getting more comfortable with it at least. Anyway, when I connect my U and my A, I make my U-turn, I follow my line back down, I go into my C stroke, and then I just finish off my A. Not too difficult, same thing with every letter. Down in the next column, the Y flows into the next letter with an up the step connector, and I guess that's what this one was too, an up the step connector into a C stroke. And so we'll just make our U-turn, and instead of going down and stopping, we'll go all the way down, and then up into our letter A using that C stroke. So moving on down to the W. The letter W ends on the top line, so the lowercase letters begin close by and are not connected. Okay, so with Ws, you don't connect. So I'll just make my U-turn. I'll make my U-turn again. And then I just make my A, and there it is. So down on this bottom line here, all I want you to do is write your name in cursive. So just do your best to write your name in cursive. You should have enough knowledge to be able to complete it. If you get stuck, that's okay. But all I want you to do is write your name in cursive. So if I were going to write Nicholas, I would... See, there's a couple different ways I could do it, but I think in this style of crisis, I, I would just make my N, I, C, H, O, oops, that's actually an A, um, Nicholas, O L A S. And then I'm going to pause it to write Hajdukovic because that could take us a while. Um, but then you'll just do your first and last name. If you want to do your middle name too, that's fine. So I'll pause it, write Hajdukovic, and we'll be all set. And kids, you can see just by my writing, I don't usually practice it this way. Um, again, I usually write my signature if I'm going to write my name in cursive. And my signature, actually, if you remember, looks like this. And it takes a lot less time to actually write my name with my signature than I would to write it in cursive. I think that's why most people use it this way. So anyways, I hope you have great days. Um, I'm glad to be back. I'm excited to see you in six days. I was actually wrong about that because you have next Friday off. But I will see you at morning meeting at 9 o'clock. Have great days, kids. Thanks. Bye.